All right, we've got the starter gear here, the starter sprocket with the starter chain. Going down to the idler gear, we'll just, these just slide off here. This crankshaft is beveled, and that's what kind of keeps that flywheel on. So we'll go ahead and start pulling the head off now at this time. And we've got 15 millimeter bolts on top here. And this one has 13 millimeter bolts. And these are kind of these are a specialty bolt. We'll lift this top cover off. And you wouldn't have to do that to pull this head and cover here. And lift that off. There's where your rockers are. And your engine tack gear here that runs with your cam. Got your camshaft here, and we've got a tensioner on this side. You won't be able to see that very well, but it's got a lock nut on there. You just loosen that up, pull it out, and there'll be a spring and a shaft that goes in there, and this is what gives it the tension. So you tighten this down to tighten that cam chain if it's losing timing, and then you lock this lock nut down. So and that's what keeps your cam from, the cam chain from having slack in it. To remove the cam though, we need to remove 10 millimeters. Get it to a spot where you see it there. Turn that all the way over and remove the other one. That'll allow us to slide that cam chain off. And then pull this 10 millimeter. The sprocket will slide down kind of on that cam shaft there. It doesn't give you a whole lot of room to move this cam, but if we can move the the sprocket out of the way and get that all out of there. So we'll just drop that tensioner and leave it down. We'll go ahead and put these two 10 millimeter bolts back in. To get this sprocket off, you've got to line, there's kind of an indention there that you got to line up with those lobes to remove it. So you've got your timing marks on here, exhaust. Now we've got your head with the four valves. That's two exhaust, two intake. That we'll remove next. We've got 10 millimeter bolts right down here by the exhaust. Outlets, those will, those will have to come out. And then underneath the spark plug, we've got a couple uh, 14s. Next, we'll, after we get the head and the cylinders off, we'll remove the clutches. So 
We've got a 13 here. And 13 on the other, or excuse me, 12 on the other side. There are 10 down in here. This head's ready to come off. Now you don't want to pry in a spot that's going to break a fin, but once you get the seal off it, it'll slide pretty easily coming off of there. And you've got your um, guides down in here that may hold you up. cam chain just drops clear down in there. So you can pull that cam chain and then remove one of the guides or at least move it out of the way. gasket was binding there but there is the head You've got your intake valves here your exhaust on this side you can inspect those here is your head gasket here and those are trash you don't ever want to reuse those here's your guides I'm just gonna set a screwdriver down there Next, we'll remove this cylinder. Doesn't look like there's any bolts holding that on. So again, same thing. That gasket will kind of keep it held up, but don't pry in a spot that the fins will break there. cylinder your guides right down here pull that pin out and you can kind of push that into a spot that you're able to remove it next we'll pull the pistons off I like to use a clip like this or a pick like this pry in there grab the circlip pop it off you want to make sure you don't drop that down in the motor but it will go flying if you're if you don't hold on to it so then you can just push it out a lot of times if the motor is still good you can push them out just with a finger sometimes you've got to tap on them with a screwdriver Pull this clip out, do the same thing over here. These pistons look like they're in really good shape. Just pull enough to get it off that crankshaft there. Then I like to put those circlips back in there. So we'll set these with them. Now 
I've got your other, your other guide here is all the way down in your bottom end, so we'll have to leave that for now. Pull the starter, it's two 10 millimeter bolts, kind of down in this cradle here. Take, it's got an o-ring that seals this up. You have to just pry on that to push that off of there. There's the starter. You can hook this up to power, make sure it's not making any noise. These are a little bit harder to turn over. There's a little bit that, more that goes on in them than the newer starters, but test that to make sure it's good. Next, we'll pull this clutch cover. And drain the oil. This holds about three quarts of oil. And the oil filter comes up from the bottom. You can see that once we get this motor completely tore down. But we've got uh, five millimeter Allen bolts all the way around this side. This is the side that your Kickstarter shaft comes out of your motor here. Down the bottom, you've got your sight glass on this clutch side here and your pulser assembly or your points. And that cover was already removed. Make sure we get all these Allens out and then we can just pull this cover off. We will have to remove this at some point and it's a lot easier to be held now. That 13. And that'll just pull out that goes clear down into that crankshaft. So that spins, that's what times everything. Three Phillips screws holding this plate on. Just lift that off of there. Then. And this assembly can just pull off as well. And this will have to be removed to pull this clutch cover. So, and again, just. Tap on it, it'll break that seal loose. That Kickstarter seal will probably hold us up a little bit, but there's your clutch pack there. Here's your clutch cover. millimeter bolts holding this on just four of them here and they're spring loaded keep all these together this will be how you replace friction plates or steel plates clutch baskets the hubs and that rod that I showed you clear at the beginning of the video will go and push against this here. That run, this rod runs all the way through and there's a ball. So that ball will hit this and I have to tip that motor over to get that ball out of there. But that ball is down in there. I think a magnet will pull it out. But that ball, it's this rod here, the ball, and then this plate here. And that releases that clutch. So we've got a snap ring there that we got to pull out. Majority of the other vehicles have a bolt right here. 
that will need removed, but this one just has this snap ring. Snap ring comes out, and what I do is put this back on. Find the groove that it sits down into. Put these bolts back on and put a little pressure on these and then you're able to lift everything out together. Now if you're replacing your friction plates or your steel plates, you gotta pull all this apart at this point. But we're keeping all this together. So we'll put these back on. Once you get them started, you tighten it down. Spring sometimes two will need replaced. Then we'll go ahead and remove this other snap ring, pull it all off together. And this can all be pulled off there at the same time. your clutch pack there there's this is what is called your clutch basket here here's your oil pump down here this is your kickstarter gear we'll go ahead and remove that next what you got to do a lot of times is turn this past your kickstarter arm here so you got to turn it back to get it to a point where you can remove it. And sometimes you're able to do it with, sometimes you gotta remove this clip, sometimes you pull it back. This one's looking like you're gonna have to remove that sir clip there. This is spring loaded so we Careful it doesn't get you. This is a plastic cup here. We've got another spring down in there, so or another circlet down in here. like that shaft is going to have to come out from the other side. We'll remove that holder there. And this may be what's holding us in. That's what was holding this spacer in here, but it looks like we're still gonna have to come in from the other side. 
So when we split that case, the rest of that Kickstarter will, will come out at that point. We've got your shift assembly here, and that can be pulled out now. Two Phillips screws holding this in, and it's also spring-loaded up here. And your oil pump down here. And I'll go ahead and loosen this. I like to turn this counterclockwise until it stops. That way it doesn't break anything spinning that off of there. This holder here just holds this shift shaft. Move it off of there, and then we're able just to pull this all the way out. There's your shift shaft. There's where your gear shifter sits on your other side. So that sits here. That's out. We'll go ahead and remove the oil pump, and then we'll get ready to split that case. Hold on, there's three O-rings down here that are sealing that up, and this pin here holds that oil pump into place here. So four Phillips screws that you've got to remove to remove your oil pump. Go ahead and flip this case over and split that case.